you know, one of the uh, ways in which you judge the performance of your mutual fund scheme is by the benchmark. Right? Uh, you know, so people tend to say, oh, the Sensex has delivered this much. Why has my scheme not delivered this much? Uh, and I guess that's a very unfair comparison because a mutual fund scheme is probably investing in 50, 100 companies. Um, and do you think that that's a fair way of looking at returns or should you allow a scheme because or look at the past track record of 5 years, 10 years. There are a lot of schemes which have done really well. Uh, so how, how as an investor should you be judging whether this scheme is doing well or not? So as an investor, I think it's first important to understand ourselves, how we behave. Uh, we should continue to invest based on our goals. So I think the first benchmark that I would uh, ask investors to look at is themselves. Are they saving enough towards their goals? Because that's the first checkpoint for them. Uh, secondly, on uh, well-performing schemes, I wouldn't uh, recommend that investors change these schemes or track the best performing scheme and switch that every year. Because if you see uh, uh, data, no particular scheme has been the best performer. Uh, for the last 20 years. There's no particular scheme that will continuously be the uh, best yeah. performer o over the years. Uh, so having said that, benchmark is not really the best way to judge them because also what happens is schemes don't really hug their benchmarks because if they do, then there is no way that they'll create alpha over yeah. uh, the Sensex. So if you want your schemes to outperform the Sensex, give it time or the benchmark, give it time and uh, at times like these, uh, give it more money, so invest more. Mm. And the reverse also works, right? So if the market is down, you are obviously going to see a bit of negative returns, maybe for a small period of time, but that shouldn't become the cause for you to wanting to exit. No, so equity investors uh, should definitely uh, not panic when it comes to negative returns. I think a lot of investors that we talk to now um, don't really panic when they see negative returns. They are in fact uh, excited to invest more, but uh, I think that's just one set of educated investors mm -hmm. because then they see the opportunity uh, that they've been investing regularly. Uh, this is a time for them to capitalize. They're buying when markets are low, uh, so they do uh, appreciate that. So I don't think uh, investors get in such a panic mode, at least not as of now. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.